What is up, ladies and gentlemen? What are we doing today? Well, we're getting into the CVT. So, a few parts came in today. RDR clutch belt we've had. And Dr. Boy sliders finally came in. Got these from Scooter Swap Shop. These are the 11 gram. So, you may ask, should I replace the contra spring in the clutch while I'm in here? Possibly. But I don't have an exhaust pipe on it yet, just the intake. And uh, jet it out the carb. We're going to see what happens with a clutch bell and 11 gram sliders. I uh, intend to stay with the 11 gram sliders. However, when I do get my hot lap exhaust on, I may have to change out the contra spring. We'll see. So, to get into this thing, I'm about to remove the cover. Surrounded by 8 millimeter bolts. Now, to take this guy off. Phillips head screwdriver does the job with the clamp, which has disappeared somewhere into the bike. You'll find it later. Once you get everything apart, the, ba the brake brackets are going to have to come off. On the bottom two, they're bolted over the CVT cover. Take all that off, it's probably going to stick a little bit. They put a little bit of silicone on here. Don't worry, you don't really have to put it back. If you know you have all the bolts out, still sticking with you. Wrap on it real light with your fist. If that don't work for you, get a rubber mallet and hit it very lightly just to shock it loose. And I mean light. Once it's loose, it should come off. I've already removed the kickstart gears. I'll show you how that's done at the end of the video. So, we gotta remove the variator and we're gonna remove the clutch belt. So, you got two ways you can do this. Well, three. One, you can buy the right tool. I ain't got it. Two, you can stick something in the wheel or stick something in the variator fan and go at it with a ratchet. Ain't doing that. Three, get yourself an impact. That's the smart way to do it. But a smart way is to use the right tools. But for the variator, 22 millimeter. For the clutch, you're gonna need a 19. Now when you go to put these things back on here, don't reef on them like you're trying to kill them or you break something. Help if I had the right adapter, wouldn't it? Be right back. Sorry about that. Half inch depth. We're going to start by taking off the variator. Just give it a few pulses. quite a bit <laughs> all right battery's probably low make sure you don't lose your nut try to take everything off together the way these washers and everything goes is important Let's slide this guy off gently Pull your belt out of the way. Try not to make a mess out of everything. And the variator's gonna slide right out. And of course, the sliders came out on the back side. Yay. Try to pull this out in one piece, guys. Don't do what I just did. Yeah, things happen. Make 
you can pull the back piece out. Alright. So, we're move the stock weights. And we're going to put our sliders in. So which way do you put them in? Make sure your hands are kind of clean. Well, if you have questions in the package, there's a way that tells you how to do it. If not, right here, I'm sure you probably can't tell, but there's a, two flat planes. There's a slightly flatter side. The side that says Dr. Pulley. That side goes up. You drop that in. So this tall side, you see where it's kind of shaped like a teardrop? That goes towards the center of the variator. Make sure you put them all in the right way. If you don't, you're gonna have a bad day. You're gonna wear out these sliders. You're probably not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. Just generally just a bad time. Drop them all in. Make sure you're wearing gloves, your hands are clean. Just keep it tidy, guys. Alright, so one of these guys fell off somewhere. Excuse me while I find that. And I'm back. Of course, it's in the last place you look, the place you put it to keep it safe so you didn't lose it. So make sure all those guys are on there. Right. You can take this, flip the plate over. Just like so. Sure, everything's going back together the way it came out. Take your time, it's not a race. Go slow. Helps keep your finger on the back of that variator until you get it. Or you can't pull your finger out anymore. Anyway. Right, make sure we didn't pick up any gross and grimy, any sand. Slide this back on. Make sure you key it properly. It's got teeth on it. It doesn't have a keyway or anything. Just line up the teeth on the splines. Whatever you call them. Alright. Now, you did, I didn't show that, but I did keep an eye on where it was before I put it back on. Just in case, I don't think it can misalign the starter on the Navi, but hey, anything's possible. Slide your fan back on. Check where she went. I live in South Carolina, you're sand anywhere, so I have to double check everything. Right. Probably help if we put the belt on first. Don't judge me. If we didn't forget steps, then well, I'm sure there's some analogy there for that. Slide your belt back on before you put this on. She's just going to turn. Fan back on. Same way they came off, same order, same orientation. Run your nut up. Always good trick. Run everything backwards a couple times as you're running it up, just to make sure you're not cross thread. So uh, I imagine if you cross thread this, you're going to have a pretty bad day.
very slow. Like I said, you're not looking to absolutely destroy this thing, just get it tight. That should be good. Now moving on to the clutch bell. Like I said, 19 for the clutch bell. It came off a good bit easier. Just gonna slide this guy off, just like so. Make sure we keep the washer and. We're replacing it with the RDR. Looks nice. So it looks kind of beat. And fellas, I believe this might be used. <laughs> I seriously think this one might be used. There's a lot of a lot of dust in here. That is well worn looking. Okay. Alright. Well, maybe it just ships that way. It'd be alright. Alright, so. Thing though. Make sure we line this stuff up properly. Now, I will say, what's the difference? The RDR is considerably lighter than this. Uh, considerably. So. Open fin design is going to allow for better cooling too. So I'm looking forward to uh, finding out exactly what's happened here today and if we want to get any kind of gains. Right. So, same thing, back it up a little bit, run it all the way up. If anybody's wondering, yes, I did squish my finger earlier. And no, it did not feel great. Same thing, don't run it up to death, just run it up. All right, so moment of truth. Before you package everything back up, one, not a bad idea. Put your stock weights back up, because who knows? You might want them for something. Maybe you got another project. Or take the rollers out of the uh, Honda Navi. Or maybe you realize you screwed up and you got these back. All right, moment of truth. Let's start her up. See what happens. Well, everything seems to be spinning fine. Started up no problem. Belt's moving like it should. We're gonna let it run for a second. Clutch is in. Let it run for a second, watch it, make sure nothing falls apart or anything crazy like that. While that's cooking, let me show you how to take the starter out of your uh, CBT, your kickstart out. All right, so, very simple process. When you pull the cover off, you see your uh, kickstart guy sticking out here. The back side, you are going to be greeted with this plate here. Now there are, if you look closely, tabs retaining these screws. You don't have to bend these out. Just unscrew the screw. Get any of that deep. Take this plate out yonder hole here. Then you're going to be greeted by some contrivances like so. Let's take the spring out of the equation. It's going to be lined up a little bit better. This will be under this cam here. So here's how you kind of, here's how you do it in a nutshell. The cam 
like whatever you call it, has a spring on it. If it tucks down in here, take a screwdriver, carefully pry up, it slips right off. Then you're going to work this guy, turn it, turn it, turn it, so it either comes completely out or you pass the teeth there. All right, and that's the way I did it. I don't know if it's the official way to do it. This spring is hooked right around that guy and connected here. Comes up in this notch. So when this is out of the way, you can take a screwdriver and carefully again, remember springs are under tension, don't lose an eye. Slide this off, that'll release all the pressure on here. Then you're going to flip this bad guy back over. And this is what's sticking out of your CVT case. Did I work that guy open, the whole thing will fall out. Couldn't be simpler. Why did I take it out? Well, why does anybody do anything? I'm not sure. Honestly, because I'm not using it. Um, it's an electric start. Is it nice to have a backup? Sure. Is it nice to lose some weight off your bike? Yeah. Um, plus, I plan on cutting some speed holes in this thing, possibly, or just totally replacing it later down the road when more custom jobs come out. So, I'm going to button this thing up, take it down the road. Uh, I wouldn't mind testing it open without the cover, but like I said, I live in a really sandy place, so let's not do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Check out the merch store. Tips are appreciated, but not required. And that's it, fellas. Have a good one.